Hello and welcome to the show. Today, three more cars are going to take on the Pine Hills Rally Stage, uh, hoping to try and go faster than the late model stock car that went out last time. Now, so far, this stage has proved to be a rather interesting, uh, interesting challenge. I uh, thank you for all the suggestions for corner names. I have uh, applied some of the ones that uh, that I like. We'll learn them as we go through the stage. Uh, please do feel free to keep suggested names for uh, for various sections and so on. Uh, we start, of course, with this horrible bumpy, <laughs> bumpy straight that I think the bolide is probably not going to be a huge fan of. While this car has got plenty of power, plenty of acceleration, and hopefully plenty of corner grip, Bumps, not going to be its friend. Turn two down here, I have named it Sunset. After Sunset Peninsula from Forza 4, with its ability to roll cars at that circuit, that corner is the big old pile of dirt on the inside that uh, will ooh, roll uh, cars, I have no doubt, uh, many times in this series. These next couple of corners haven't got uh, any particular name for. We then head towards, oh, the big oversteery point, apparently, in the bolide. Oopsie. <laughs> That was a little bit anticlimactic of an opening crash for today's episode. I'm about to say, towards the big nasty mean section here, uh, that has been named the Amik Peak. Uh, kind of a little bit of a combination of a couple of uh, suggestions that I like to put it together. This is where we're going to see most of the offs. We then have got this nasty horrible bridge. We come across down towards the pit stop chicane. Ooh, just about get it slowed down in the bolide through here, don't clonk the wall, there we go, and towards our final of the named corners, this one here, uh, the Diff Destroyer, following the Covert's incredible breakdown, trying to climb up the hill, and don't have a name for the final turn here, uh, yes, and then we jump across the line. Um, well, I guess with just a uh, solitary spin, uh, well, we broke the front wheel axle, oh, we lost a wheel from that! <laughs> Well, that's a rundown of the uh, the new names for the, for the course, and I got some experience with the bolide, so it's all good. Right, let's try and not break everything on the run into the first corner here across the bumps. I want to try and be brave, but being brave in the bolide tends to do this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the, the uh, bolide is going to like that bit very much as around we go again. Are we just going to go, shall we do the rest of the course in reverse? Fine. If that's what you want to do, car, we will do the rest of the course in reverse. I'm not sure this is going to be particularly easy. Uh, no, no, we're fine. We're fine around there. Oh, careful. Oh, okay, that's that needs a little bit more slowing down. Oh, we managed to puncture a tire in all of that. <laughs> um, yeah, bumps are mean. We are on it to the bridge, uh, up towards or down towards the uh, pit stop chicane. We're making it around here. Probably gonna wander in to first. Avoided all of the walls. Oh no! Oh, fight it, fight it. Oh, we got to bounce and bobble and bobble and didn't really make it to destroy her before we've planted it in a tree. A little bit too eager on the throttle, on the exit there. Yeah, this car is finding bumps that other cars have, have not yet found. I think we're stuck in a tree, aren't we? Not even a tree. We've beached it on a bush. <laughs> uh, that, this is a little bit too fast coming in and that's, that's gonna, well, yeah, pay the price. Oh, we've lost the front wheel again. <laughs> You know what? I don't need you anymore. Screw you, front right wheel. Uh, you are not of too much importance. Oh, I lied. I lied. You are of more importance than expected. Sorry. If you can come back for the next run, that'd be really appreciated. Oh, it's still going. Maybe it'll make it. Oh, no, I think it's fallen off the other side. Maybe, maybe it won't. Nicely settled. Up towards the bridge we go. Although we are going to have to get on the brakes. Uh oh, we're not going to make the pit stop chicane. We're going to fall in to the river. Yes, engine's going to get hydrolocked. We carry so much speed across the bridge that, uh, yeah, not, not being able to get stopped into there. We are up towards the uh, meat peak once more. That's too much, too much asked of the bolide. It's going to be a relatively, relatively tame crash. But actually, it's going to be a, a quite well-survived crash. They haven't lost the wheels. The car still drives in a straight line. We've lost a spoiler. Um, and slightly dented the roof. Eh. Ah. Could be worse. Nicely does it as we head up towards the bridge. Maybe get on the brakes as soon as we get to the bridge. Oh no. It was the right idea. It was the right idea. I was just fighting the back of the car. We were <laughs> losing the back end under brakes. Oh, but we're getting closer. We didn't go visiting the lake this time, so that's an improvement. 
So far it is uh, looking very much like caution is the uh, name of the game here, especially with these bumps down into turn one. Really get the car slowed down. You don't want to be getting it airborne if you can help it here. It's uh, very, very easy to unsettle the bolide, and when it does that, there's not much you can do to gather it back under control on such a narrow course and such a technical course as well. If something goes wrong, that tends to very much be a trip into the scenery and game over. As we head up towards the meat peak once more, little again, a little bit more cautious in this car than perhaps some vehicles that have gone because I know it can't, the suspension just can't deal with the bumps. Onto the bridge we go. Now really slow the car down. That was neatly done up towards the uh, pit stop chicane. Oh, we've clonked the wall ever so slightly. It's broken the wing, but probably not going to have too much effect up towards these final corners. We go around Diff Destroyer for the first time. No issues with the bow line. Make the most of all of that glorious, glorious traction. Up towards the finish line we go into the scenery. We've lost the mighty wing. The rest of the car <laughs> Relatively okay. Pretty good jump. Pretty good jump, actually, across the finish line. I will I will give the bolide that, and the wheels stayed on the car, which is always always nice. I mean, if you look at it from, what, from that angle? Looks like it's just about in pristine condition. Yeah, it doesn't like the bumps. They're horrible across the bumps, as you can perhaps imagine with a race car such as this one. However, in other areas of the circuit, the, uh, the traction, the power, the acceleration is very, very good indeed. I'll be interested to see what the stage time is for this car. Up next, we have got the first ETK to go in the series. This is the S series. It is very high powered, all wheel drive, which should be quite good. Certainly acceleration out of the hairpins and so on, but it is not exactly a race car, likely to be quite heavy. Might struggle to get slowed down for some of the corners. Mm -hmm might struggle to actually carry corner speed through some of the hairpins. I am hoping it may be a tad better at dealing with bumps than we saw from the bolide. It does slightly seem like it, but it may not be able to carry yeah, the same speed through the turns as the bolide can. We see there <laughs> the understeer that is uh, likely to be present in this car. Oh, we're going to run that really, really close to the edge. Yeah, there is a fair bit of uh, understeer going on in the S-Series. Jump on the throttle. The all-wheel drive should give us traction. It's not giving us traction. We've not got off there before. <laughs> not in that manner, we haven't. Oh, okay. There's there's so much power. Even the all-wheel drive is sliding around a bit on this, uh, on this course. Well, that's a new place to go exploring off of the, uh, off of the circuit. I was not expecting this level of wiggleness from the uh, from the ETK. This might be a uh, old oh, sketchy way of approaching this corner. Try and make it round. We've made it around the first part. Not gonna make it around the second part. Oh, that's a big crash. That's a nasty. That's a nasty, nasty shot. That broke a lot of the car. Um, ouch. Things can only go better than last time down here, right? Uh, in fact, they do. They do go considerably better than last time down here. That means slow into the pit stop chicane. Uh, turning circle isn't great on this car. Oh, bugger, 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 bugger. Ugh! <laughs> Scoop, I thought I turned the... Um ECS off. Apparently that's still enough to uh, activate the stopping. Don't drive across steps for the petrol station. Things go wrong there. So, we have learned that the S-Series is still not a huge fan of the bumps, while a little better than the Bolide. Still got to be very mindful of these. I'm also learning that my cat is currently enjoying climbing into my backpack. For some reason, he has decided that that is going to be his new sleeping quarters. Uh, we were playing that really risky around sunset. However, we got away with that. Uh, next hairpin. Oh, such a horribly tight hairpin. We're going to get big oversteer in the S-Series. Come on, come on. Kind of try and deal with that understeer, then make the most of that all-wheel drive acceleration, all of that power up towards. Oh, that's big, big oversteer. Bad, 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 bad. I can't gather that all back up. We get away with it. How the hell did we get away with that? I do not know. We're going to have to brake nice and early as we head into the pit stop chicane because the car is, uh, yeah, not the 
best at uh, dealing with those tight hairpins. We have got it slowed down around there. Up through Destroyer we go with the S series. I am uh, basically just booted in hope across the line. We go. <laughs> In perhaps the most spectacular of runs for a car, the S-Series has made it. We ran a little bit deep into the first part of the pit stop. Okay, but we were really, really quick on the way out of it. Yeah, it's, it's quite a big brute of a car, this one, to be driving around such a narrow, such a narrow course. But with the most incredible save that we have seen on the Meek Peak, it is definitely... Definitely worth a, uh, a spectacular award. Not the best finish yet, but I will, <laughs> I will take that as a uh, as a save. Our third and final car to take on this course today is the Abasto Night Snake. We haven't had a muscle car go down here yet. High power, rear wheel drive. Probably not the greatest of tyres. Probably not the greatest of suspension either, but maybe, maybe that'll help it. The Wobblematic suspension might be good across these bumps. It might be terrible. I take it back for saying it might be good. It might, it might not be good. Uh oh, I can't stop the Night Snake. It's gonna have a bad experience. <laughs> well, we have learned an important lesson. Wobblematic, not so helpful for this course. Meek Peak is coming up next, and that's where we're probably going to have a very, very big accident, because I don't even know what speed I can get away with. Oh, that's a, quite a lot of speed, and that's too much for the Basto. We're going to uh, surprisingly come to a halt without having shattered the drive shaft. That is rare. Um, yeah, a we're seeing cars on oh, the first episode. I don't think anything hit the inside of uh, that corner. We're now, <laughs> we're now seeing cars getting launched off the inside as well as the outside. New ways to, uh, well, wreck cars. Now, be mindful. Be mindful of the meat peak. Are we going to be... Oh, no, we're not so okay down there. That secondary bump again is catching out another car. Oh, into the rocks we go. Can't get the uh, car out of there. That's going to be a hydro locked. Well, we've not quite made it into the main lake, but uh, we have littered the uh, tributary with many cars so far. Here we go across the peak. Are oh, we going to be okay this time around? We are n a bit better, a bit better. Going to maybe save it. To nope. And stop. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, that's about 20 centimetres to spare, if that. We didn't go swimming, which is a bonus. However, god damn, the bumps down there are being mean to cars today. Extra mean to cars today, I think. Up towards the meek peak we go. It's, uh, no, secondary bump, secondary bump. Try and fight with that secondary bump. Nope. <laughs> I had two choices, and I couldn't stop, so it was either try and pull the car onto the course or throw it off into the water even more. I tried to keep it on the course. As you can quite clearly see, it didn't work. Wait to get on that throttle, get a big kick of oversteer, fight the car some more. I was about to say make the most of the acceleration where you can, then we slid the vehicle around and that's not going to work. Uh-oh. Oh, bugger me. That's going to meet a tree and that's going to be drive shaft gone and that's a, sorry, that's a really twisted basto from that one. I locked the wheels. I locked the wheels just enough as we were going into the meat peak that I couldn't turn it and at such a fast corner when you're out of position well yeah bye bye car there we go across that initial uh, or I'll say that initial across the secondary bump uh, if we wait to get on the power until we've done that then things are okay oh no <laughs> bloody pit stop chicane caught me. We weren't stopping or turning so I tried to grab the handbrake and then a fraction too much power around we go. You know what? We'll just park it in the garage. I meant to do that, honestly. Get across. There we go. The important second crest. Oh, no. I had a wheel spin moment coming onto the bridge and as I did that it caught, uh, kind of I guess like the tracks on the bridge. The car was got a sideways going onto that. Just caught it. Snapped. Well, I snapped. Punched the tyre. And uh, around we go. For a crash at that speed at that point, we got away with remarkably little damage from that. 
Now, I might have said caution was the name of the game with the bolide. It is even more so in the case of the uh, Barstow here. Uh, it's got kind of modern race car levels of acceleration, all with classic muscle car underpinnings. So it doesn't really turn, doesn't really stop. And the suspension, while I had hoped would be good for cushioning the bumps, is more good for bouncing the car around. So... Yeah, it's difficult. It's got a lot of uh, difficult things to try and deal with, but the acceleration is quite nice to have on the odd couple of occasions where you can use it. You've just got to remember when you come to these corners, don't break in the same place that you do with a modern car, because while it might be going as fast as they are, it can't carry the same speed. Don't bounce around over there. There we go. Nicely does it onto the bridge. Down towards the pit stop chicane we go. Uh, easy does it on the way in. No real good way of getting this car through there. It's just not composed enough. It's going to be launched about up towards Destroyer we go. Oh, we're going to slide the car. Oh, come on. It struggles with the traction up here. It's really struggling with the traction. There we go. Across the line. It's not going to win any spectacle points, that's for sure. <laughs> It had its issues getting up that. It's always too much power and too little grip for its uh, assault up the hill there. It really does like spinning the wheels uh, through all of that section. And again, I have no doubt the rear diff in this car will not be helping it with such an incredible elevation change to have to try and deal with in such a short space of time and two very, very tight corners. It is a very, very difficult car to drive down this course. It's always likely to be... Um, yeah, hopefully that pure straight line speed will have made up for some, at least, of the time lost when it came to the technical parts. On to our leaderboard, and it is the late model stock car that continues to lead the way. It manages to fend off the challenge from that Bolide race car. 1 minute 5.3 from the uh, Bolide is not quite fast enough. I think in the end, it has to be so slow across the bumps. The late model could kind of get away with uh, a little bit more, surprisingly. Wasn't expecting that to be the case, but... Uh, there we go. The ETK S series also puts in a, a rather impressive time, 1 minute 6.1 for what is a relatively, well, heavy four-door saloon car. Yeah, it's got a lot of power at all-wheel drive. So to be that close to two full-on race cars down here is, I think, very, very good go. I was expecting that to be a lot, a lot further down. There we go. The Abasto Night Snake, though, is at the bottom of 114.3. Perhaps unsurprising, this course is uh, very technically demanding on uh, on the cars, and the Night Snake did not have the grip through the corners. And while, yes, it was fast in a straight line, there aren't enough straights to be able to make up that time lost struggling through a lot of the turns here. It is uh, almost four seconds down on the T35. Yeah, the off-road pickup truck. Not even off-road, not even a pickup truck. It's just the stripped-down off-road truck even. So, yeah, no, the Barstow did, uh, did struggle a fair bit. That, though, is going to be it for this video. As ever, I shall link all the mods in the description so you can find them, download them, and have a go with them yourself. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time... Uh, goodbye.